Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Rock and Groove. Today we're going to be doing a double review, mainly on the Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Sentient pickup set, but also, why not, on a Jackson JS-22 7-string. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rock and Groove. Jason here, your one-stop shop for all things guitar. If it's your first time, thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. If you're back, thank you so much for coming back and listening to my voice. Talk about gear, reviews, anything else that I could possibly do. If you want, leave a message, a comment, let me know and I'll do it. Today, what I have here in my hands is, I believe, is a 2016 Jackson JS-22 7 string. This one is not the matte, it's the gloss black with a maple fretboard. Um, this guitar retails at about $200. Uh, it's a pretty cheap guitar. It's made in China, it's cheap, it's low end for sure. Um, so if you just straight up buy this guitar, you need to understand that you're gonna get a low end guitar. But mainly what I wanna do here in this video is I wanna talk about the upgrades that's been done to this guitar. Primarily is the Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Sentient pickup set here. So what we have is pure metal pickups. You have the Nazgul seven string inside your bridge and then at the neck is the Sentient. Uh, these are both just hardcore metal and they sound amazing. Um, and they just really give you everything you want in the seven string. If you want to get some high on your leads uh, and some smoothness with the neck, um, and warmth if you really want to just give it a good chug uh, and it doesn't have to be like the gent, the gent chugs or whatever this could be just straight metal um, everything like that I've listened to all kinds of metal um, and these pickups can give you everything you want they really have clarity to them and definition it's, it's a really tight low in there and when it hits you can really feel it but at the same time it doesn't turn to mud um, even when I've tuned this top string down to an A, man, it can really just give a good just chug to it without being just absolute mud. And when you really palm mute and fast with it, it sounds great. You can really hear the definition. So these pickups are amazing. Um, before I get to a sound sample on that, just another thing about the guitar. Um, this was also upgraded with CTS pods, a push pull. I never use it. Three-way switch on this guitar. Um, hip shot tuners were put in. And I'll be honest with you, um, I'm whatever about them. I can't really tell the difference. I mean, especially when you have a hard tail like this. Um, I'm not really doing anything crazy to knock them out of tune. I tune them normally, so. But still, they got some nice hip shot locking tuners on them. Uh, the bridge was never changed. It's, it's the cheaper metal. Um, hard tail bridge, it still does fine to me. I uh, still need to set the action a little bit better. Um, the neck, the neck feels really good. It's matte. It's really thin on the back, so it feels really good and comfortable for a seventh string. When you're reaching up really high for that seventh string, the last thing you want is a really fat neck. So um, this has, it's not so thin, it's gonna feel like it's gonna be break or, or break or it's gonna be crap. Uh, it's really nice and thick, it feels good. Um, the one thing I will say about this guitar, obviously since it was cheap, uh, when I got it, um, the, the, the fret surprise were horrible. Um, absolutely terrible, the worst I've ever seen on a guitar. I shaved them down pretty good, got them down, and um, bam, they feel great now. It's not a problem at all. So the neck is really good. The act or the intonation is work. The action looks is really really good, and, and it just plays wonderfully now. Um, so mainly, let's talk about these pickups. Let's get to them. Take a listen. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to have just samples of picking, um, chugging, lead, everything just isolated tracks and then I'm going to go to uh, playing with um, in a mix the chugging in a mix everything put together with the entire part of the band um, the, the soloing the high pitch picking will be on the neck everything else will be all the way down on the bridge so let's take a listen and see what you think
everybody. So yeah, my final thoughts. Uh, first off, on the guitar, I think the guitar is really cool uh, once it's been modded. That's one thing I like and a lot of people like to do is get their hands on a cheap guitar and mod it and turn it into the sound of a professional guitar. Uh, the only thing you have to watch out for with these cheaper guitars is just it's hit or miss on your quality. Like I said, the spread frouts were absolutely atrocious. Some folks may get them and they may work just fine. You may have a really good neck. Some people may get a neck and it's absolutely bowed to the point of just being unplayable. Some people may have problems with the bridge. It's just kind of hit or miss. Uh, a crapshoot with a lot of times with these cheap guitars. I actually got my hands on a good one. So the guitar itself is good. Um, I can't really speak on the Jackson 7 string pickups that came in. I got this with these. Um, the Seymour Duncan set, the same with the tuners. I can only imagine they're probably subpar, but they may do. Just know that whenever you ever buy a cheap guitar like this stock from a company or anything like that, you're, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have headache with it at times. It's going to get frustrating. Even I remember when I first started playing um, at 16, I got a Jackson uh, Dinky, and it was like a $150 dinky and I remember getting so mad at that thing it would not stay in tune and then the strings were so far off the neck I took it to a, someone else I thought I could fix it they took the neck off and jacked it up even worse so it became a, it was a headache so just know that but as far as the pickups go these are awesome if I ever um, get me another seven string and I want to up, upgrade it or mod it and put some better pickups in it, I'll do nothing but these. Uh, the Nazgul and the Sentient in the neck are amazing. They give me everything that I want. If I want to do a smoother jazz sound, something more um, soft and picking and ambient, I can get it. If I really want to get heavy and like thrash and speed, I can do it. If I want to chug really heavy, um, I can do it too. I can do anything I want to do when it comes to a, a harder genre. Even some softer ambient stuff, this guitar um, can do it with these pickups. It's really, really good, really impressive. I highly recommend um, the Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Sentient Set. And they're priced pretty good, well under $200 for both these. I've seen a lot of pickups, especially boutique pickups you can get. They'll go over $300, especially for a set. Um, this is under $200 for a set. Um, check them out and everything. I obviously always recommend Sweetwater. I've always had wonderful experience with them, but you can get them anywhere really. But uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Again, like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. We have a lot of videos on guitar reviews, pedal reviews, everything. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And remember, have fun.